here guys we will see how to parse and validate hl7 messages and to do so we will create our first channel in mert connect we will configure it and we will see how we're gonna achieve the parsing and the validation using this channel let's create our first channel we'll go to channels new channel let's give it a name for example hl7 parsing we have a configuration related to the messages login let's choose production to store only the row of the message let's save now we will configure our channel to receive hl7 message we will pick the tcp listener connector to listen to hl7 coming from the external system for the tcp port where we're gonna receive hl7 messages let's by default keep 6661 other configuration here related to the response when we receive an HL7 message what is the response we're gonna respond to the external system here we can specify a destination we will see the destination section later the idea here is to specify a destination its role is to return a response to the external system by default we will keep MLLP TCP listening setting and let's save after configuring the source where we're gonna listen to HL7 messages coming from the outside, we can pass the HL7 here in the destination and also we can do it in the source as well. As you see in the left menu, we have the two buttons edit filter and edit transformer. In case we want to filter HL7 message with a specific criteria on a specific field, we can use in this case the edit filter button. In the other hand, we use edit transformer to parse an HL7 message and convert it from the HL7 structure to a set of field values. As we will see in a minute, we will need an HL7 template message. So let's take this EDT804 as example. Let's edit the transformer. In the message template here, let's pass our template we saw before. Let's switch to message trees. Our message is well structured as we saw in the hl7 structured message video a message 9 is the message type 91 it's edt 92 it's a04 we're gonna create a new step here let's name it for example message code and let's drag and drop the message code from the right side to the mapping field we can trim this value by adding trim function of course we can do the same for other fields let's take the PID 5 which is the name of the patient let's create a new step we name it patient first name let's drag the given name to the mapping etc and we do the same for all other needed fields after finishing the parsing in the edit transformer in the source section Let's go to the destination. As you see here, we have the two value, message code and the patient first name. Of course, we can use these two values by drag and drop them in the body of the destination. For example, let's just log them in the console. Let's choose JavaScript writer to write some JavaScript code. Let's log these two values in the console using the info function of logger class. As you see by drag and drop here and here we can just change the string here to specify the value of the patient first name let's give let's give our destination a name for example login value let's save and after that let's deploy the channel to run it so by creating this channel we created a tcp listener that will listen for every data sent locally to the port 6661 in mert connect we can simulate sending messages as we will see now let's access 
our channel in the dashboard we have here send message we will simulate sending a message to our channel and change for example the first and last name of the patient let's process the message let's refresh here we have some login information we have the source it's the sending system system a the type of the message edt a04 we have the source and the destination so in the source we have in the row the message sent and to check the logged values let's go back to the dashboard and here we can see the two values that are logged in the console that's it for this video in the next video we will see how to validate parsed fields with Merge Connect. Thank you for watching.